soundproof issues, silly. Oh, hi! Welcome to the Filmmaker Video Basement. Today we're going to review the Steadicam Merlin. As someone who spent countless hours uh, building my own and modifying my own camera stabilization systems, I was very interested in looking at the Steadicam Merlin. I was really interested in seeing what really good uh, Steadicam engineering looked like. I quickly popped on the Sony AX2000, which I was able to try out, and I realized that I had no idea what I was doing. So I had to spend about a few hours watching the training DVD and discovering what kind of placement as far as the weights are concerned to get a proper balance. Steadicam offers something called a Merlin cookbook, which has a listing of configurations based on what kind of camera you're flying. If you're on the list, you're almost all set. If not, you're going to need to spend some time practicing. I won't go into all the details about what it takes to, uh, to, to balance the Steadicam Merlin, but it is something that's a little bit tricky, and I've had a lot of experience with camera stabilization systems, so I can kind of feel my way into the proper balance. But as someone just starting off, I can see how it can be incredibly frustrating. And part of it is kind of this, this circular design, in that you're not holding a post. Compare that to my glide cam, which I've heavily modified. This is a post that's very easy to understand where the balance is as far as what's top heavy and what's bottom heavy. This is a little bit less intuitive in the way you have to balance. Now once you do find the balance, the Steadicam Merlin is actually pretty, it's actually a pre uh, pleasure to fly. Now one thing I really like about the Steadicam, I'm going to get a little zoom in on this if you can, are these little thumb trims that you have right here. These incrementally move your camera plate up and down and side to side. They're very finely engineered and just even a quarter of a turn will make a difference in your final balance. With the AX2000 on board, the Steadicam Merlin actually performed pretty well, floated around very nicely. However, I found myself getting really tired very quickly. The AX2000 is a 5 pound camera and the maximum weight limit of the Steadicam Merlin is 5.5 pounds. And with all that weight in front of you, your forearms really start to feel it. After experimenting with the AX2000, we threw on the Canon 5D camera on the Steadicam Merlin, and boy, what a difference. I think that's what the Steadicam Merlin really was designed for, small consumer um, handheld kind of cameras between one pound and about three pounds. The 5D worked really well. Uh, it was, the 5D itself is a little bit side heavy, so you're gonna have to compensate for that on the Merlin. And I really wish I had more time to spend playing with it. Bottom line, the Steadicam Merlin is an excellent product. It's well engineered and definitely deserving of the Steady, Steadicam brand. Now, if you're gonna be shooting with a camera that's more than five pounds or very close to five pounds, either get used to holding a brick in front of you for a very long time, or go with something a little bit more beefier, something that has a vest and an arm ligature to it. For a smaller camera, like an HD, SDS, HD DSLR camera or a consumer palm camera, this is actually a pretty good solution. Now, either way, you're going to be spending a lot of time experimenting and practicing with this camera stabilization in order to get that perfect flying shot. I'm John Hess. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you at FilmmakerIQ.com.